you're watching someone chase their dreams and you sitting there being bitter, nasty, and mad that they're chasing their dreams, critiquing them because of their trial and error and their processes and their confidence through their process while you're not doing anything. And the things that you do do, you're not being consistent because you're consistently watching someone else. Instead of watching someone else and critiquing their experience, live your own experience, indulge in your own experience. And the people that may be being watched at this time, the people that's energies may be being infiltrated at this time, understand that you won when they made their life all about you. You're not even where you want to touch it. But the fact that they're watching and they're so devoted to you, your life, and what you got going on, it shows that you've won. Especially if you're not worried about the motherfuckers watching you. Okay. They need your energy. And then some people be watching you and gaining insight from you. They don't put you on for giving them the insight and clarity. I just personally think if you're sitting around watching someone routinely, repeatedly, consistently, then that means that you actually enjoy their presence and company. Okay, you have to be being edified in some type of way, whether it's entertained, whether it's educated, understand that if you take out time in your day to watch someone else and what they have going on, you ain't as good as you, you claim to be. Also, if you do have a tendency, you know, we all have had our burner page stages. We've all had our burner page stages. But if you are watching someone and they make you quiver, they you don't like them, you don't want to support them. Be mindful that watching them, especially if they make money or they're attempting to make money on social media, it don't matter if you dislike their posts, okay? Because know that engagement with someone's content is engagement. So if they are making money or attempting to make money, even if you're sending hateful energy, it may make them be in their head a little bit, especially if they're still not strong in their confidence yet, which is something that can always be built. But you are building or helping them build in some type of way when you be sharing shit with your friends and 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 sending it and and telling them go watch go watch go dislike this go when you do those things you are just sending more people lastly but surely if you want someone to get out of your energy field if you're trying to detach your energy from someone whether it's an enemy whether it's a lover whether it's an ex whether it's whoever it may be watching them only reattaches you to their energy Everybody posts something with an intention. I'm posting a picture with my man. I'm either posting a picture with my man to reverence him or to, you know, it could be ego attached to it to prove a point. He's my, whatever it may be. Whatever intention a person may be sending, whether it's I'm good, don't fuck with me, keep fucking with me, I'm living, whatever it may be, you're eating up that intention every time you scope up what they're posting, which is why I deleted all burner pages. I'm not watching nobody, baby. My biggest competition is me. And I feel like that should be for everybody. No judgment to the girls, but I'm just saying, you're projecting that nasty energy, all it's gonna do is come back to you. Especially when somebody's operating in obedience. And you have to understand, you may think that somebody's operating foul, somebody's not in alignment, but they're not in alignment with you, okay? You don't know what my obedience is. You don't know what God told me to do. You don't know what God told her to do. You don't know in what direction God is gonna move. Even in the Bible, it talks about God having compassion on whom he chooses. So you might be like, oh, she's so out of order. Oh, my God. You don't know what God is doing through me or whoever you may be watching, peeking on or envying. And be mindful on who you envy. A lot of this shit that you see on social media is smoke and mirrors. Okay, so that's just a message for the girls about social media. That's a message for the girls about comparison, envy. Y'all be envying shit and you don't even know what's up for real. People be smiling on social media and weak in the in the, the knees. Hell, and maybe God didn't tell me anything. Maybe God didn't tell me anything and I'm just out here operating and he's going to prune my heart and bring peace to me and my life when he's ready and have the glory out of it. But sitting here trying to play God, sitting here trying to sit back and analyze what somebody should be doing, what somebody should be wearing, what somebody should be saying, what somebody should be engaging in. I feel like you should put that energy into you. What should you be doing? 
What is God telling you to do? Are you doing things correctly? Are your eyes dotted and your T's crossed? And if not, you shouldn't be looking at nobody else's shit passing judgment. One reason why I would never be scared to like share my business or be transparent is because that is what we are supposed to do. It's too many people that experience things and like to hide their lows, but then love to like put on their highs. That is called flexing. When you only show the good things about yourself, but you're not transparent about your flaws, the things that you're learning, you're going through experiences that you're probably not processing and seeing the greater good in yourself but you're also not processing it seeing the greater good in it and showing and demonstrating whatever lessons that are being exhibited in your life to others and that is stingy that is selfish and that is egotistical okay not that you have to tell all of your business and not everybody is going to be your audience i talk online your your audience may not be online it could be your inner circle it can be whatever it may be but a sense of reflection and transparency and when it comes to others, it's also relating to others with empathy, not judgment. A spirit is really convicting you about what somebody else is doing. If it's really bothering you, you're going to be guided to plant or water a seed in that person in some type of way. Even if it's not ministering to them, whether it's spreading love, whether it's showing um, love from a distance, whether it's supporting them, whether it's sharing some type of information or details with them, but judging them, passing judgment on them and leaving them operating in a space and place that you're so convicted about them living in and you're not making a move or being guided to it is something wrong with your intentions always but anyways that's just ted talk for the girls i look you home bye y'all <laughs>